The Seed is a play that celebrates everything about the theatrical experience. It is a cracker of a story, and one that anyone with a family, and I think that's all of us, can relate to. It's funny, it's fast, and it's ours. It's a uniquely Australian story in that it spans generations and continents as it seeks to know itself. The exceptional Kate Mulvaney has given us, an, as an audience, an extraordinary gift. And many of you might have seen Kate recently in Julius Caesar, and that was playing in the last couple of weeks, which she also adapted. She's an incredibly talented woman. And the reason she's given us such a gift is that she's very bravely telling us her own personal story. I'm going to read you a short statement from Kate, who is now uh, somewhere up in the north of Queensland doing Caesar. She writes, Dad, I need to write a play. Can I ask you a few questions? That's how the writing process for The Seed began. A Sunday phone call from a slightly nervous daughter to her Vietnam veteran father. Over the next few years, these phone calls were repeated to Dad, Mum, my sister, other Vietnam veterans, their wives, their children, and pretty soon the nervousness dissipated and a very strong sense of horror and heartbreak set in. These people had been sitting in silence for too long. It was no easy feat to get them to speak. To my shock when they did, I heard the same stories over and over again. Stories about what it is to be a returned Australian soldier after a lost war, how this affects a wife, a mother, a brother, the bitter humour and the horror of it all. I'm still being Kate here, just to be clear. In order to tell stories, I had to tell mine. I was born with cancer from Agent Orange and the rest of my life has been programmed by this one chemical breathed in by my father as a 20-year-old soldier. And so, with this personal investment and the burning desire to finally speak out about it, an idea sprouted. My dream was to write a play that informed an audience about the ongoing horrors of a warfare that continued long after the battlefield has emptied, as well as deliver a fantastic, funny, and ferocious night in the theater. I made it my mission to make the audience laugh and then break their hearts. The result was The Seed, the story of Brian Maloney, an IRA soldier begrudgingly living in Nottingham. On his 80th birthday, Guy Fawkes night, He's visited by his long-lost son, Danny, a 10-pound pom and a Vietnam veteran now living in Australia. Danny's accompanied by his daughter, Rose, a 30-year-old writer dealing with the repercussions of her father's involvement in a war and desperately trying to write Danny's story in order to conquer her own demons. And as the characters settle in for what should be an afternoon of celebration, the realms of truth and lies, war and peace, family and foes become blurred and the three lives begin to entangle and strangle.